Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what I got from Japan. I got back two days ago now. Um, yesterday I just had like a nasty cold, probably from what, the aircon in the plane, just circling and catching loads of germs. Uh, so I wasn't feeling very well. Uh, so today I feel better. So in Japan I had an amazing time. It was so good. It was oh, perfect. Uh, didn't get to do everything I wanted to do, but you know, I was there for eight days, that's not hardly enough time to do everything I wanted, but from what I did do, I absolutely loved, loved, loved. I'm definitely going back as soon as I can, if possible. Um, but obviously it was my first time in Japan, and obviously I went a bit crazy with spending because everything I've always wanted to buy was there. So uh, this is going to probably be quite a long video, uh, so we best just dive right in. So this is what I got from Japan. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the sweets and like the cosmetics that I got, just because uh, the rest of the stuff is kind of like anime and stuff like that, and this is more like the... Uh, just I, I knew I wanted to buy sweets, and I knew I wanted to buy some like crazy Japanese cosmetics. Um, I didn't buy much, because it's very expensive in Japan. I find either Japan is incredibly expensive, or incredibly cheap. It depends where you go, really. Japan is only expensive if you let it be, I think, is the best way to say it. First thing I'm going to show you is sweets. Uh, we saw some raspberry Kit Kats, so I bought some of those. And I assume this is green tea uh, Kit Kats. I don't know what these are going to taste like. <laughs> but I love green tea, but I can't imagine I'm going to enjoy it in this form. Uh, and then... God, I really didn't buy that many sweets. Never mind. Uh, and then we've got these peach flavoured uh, jellies. We thought they were sweets, but they're actually just jellies. And they're delicious, actually. I've actually opened some. I've got two packs here. Uh, so they look like this. And you open them up. And they look like this. Uh, yeah. They look like the alien goo that you used to get in his alien eggs. And you go like this. And they're really quite... Excuse me, it's just quite rude talking by mouthful, but never mind. Um, it's quite thick jelly, like, there's actually a warning on the packet saying, um, oh, see, I can't talk, small children or aged person might, um, I think it's meant to say ugly, uh, need to be careful because they can get stuck in the throat, and I can understand that, because I'm sure I can swallow that. Uh, I've also got some great prawns of those, I might just quickly try some of the Kit Kats as well. Oh, they're tiny, oh, I thought they'd be bigger than that. Smells like an apple. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that tastes like that tastes like yogurt wrapped in chocolate, and I'm not a big fan of yogurt. I mean, I like it, but not in that form. Uh, so yeah, not too good. I think that's the fun about getting sweets from Japan, though. Like, I, I enjoy. They're also wacky and cool. Like, you've got to try them. That's the fun of it. I don't know if I'm going like this. I love matcha tea, uh, matcha green tea. Uh, I just, I love tea from Japan, I bought some. But, and they had these, this amazing um, drinks. I think it was matcha green milk tea. Oh, I loved it, it was the best thing I've drink. Uh, best thing I've ever had to drink. Mm. I actually like that. That's delicious. I enjoyed that. But actually, so yeah, looking about that, that's pretty much all the sweets I got. So, okay. also, also, uh, I didn't get this in Japan, but I ordered it for Japan, and it came the time I got back. It's an oh, wind Takimura. <gasps> oh, I'm such a weave. <laughs> an Attack on Titan one, anyway. Uh, so yeah, the next thing I got was some Japanese tea. Uh, I really, I saw quite a few tea shops whilst in Japan. Uh, but I was like, oh, I'll leave it to the last day, like, because I wanted sweets, like, tea and, uh, like, cosmetics to the last day. But it got to the last day, and it got late, and I was like, oh my goodness, there's none. So I actually got this in the airport, and it's just a Japanese tea. Oh, also, at Mount Fuji, uh, our tour guide gave us a, a, a voucher for uh, a free Lucky Bell. So we got a free Lucky Bell at Mount Fuji. And then this is the tea. It comes in this lovely pot with all these umbrellas, and they're just really cute. Next is cosmetics. No, it's not. I've got more tea. This is actually from Starbucks. Starbucks in Japan, they did this matcha green tea, like, ice drink. I don't know if it's a frappuccino or... I'm not, I'm not very familiar with drinks from Starbucks. I don't usually go there. Uh, uh, flat, like, coffee.
coffee. I just like tea, and I don't even order tea from Starbucks, I just have my own tea. Um, so it's kind of like an iced cold tea drink, and it was delicious, and it was this, much green tea, and you can have it with milk, and a lot of the times when I had this drink, uh, it was called matcha green tea milk drink and that's what it was and I saw these and I thought I have to get some because I have to make it at home uh, so yeah I got some of those from Starbucks and the man was very nice he um in Japan they spoke incredibly good English like it made me I, I put me to shame for not knowing another language he spoke really good English and he was like oh would you like this wrapped up as a gift um is it a gift for anyone I went and obviously I got panicked and was like yes it's a gift for me. <laughs> didn't say it was for me, I just said yeah it's a gift because I just panicked and he was very kind about it for me so that was very sweet of him. Uh, also got a lovely little postcard of um, the cherry blossoms and Mount Fuji in the background. Very cute. Yeah, cosmetics. Um, obviously the main thing I wanted to get was some face masks so I got Will You Be A Dog? which has got a really weird dog um, face mask with that. These are very cold. Uh, I can't wait to try that. And I also got Will You Be A Cat? because I wanted some fun face masks from Japan because that's what you, I was always told to get to see everyone getting. Again with face masks it's got a bit um, crumpled on the flight back. It's again face mask. I think they come, I think there's like a pack of, I don't know how many there are in here. Um, but it feels quite heavy so I assume there's quite a lot. Um, and this one is to, it's a moisturising one. There's loads of this type of brand, but some more for acne and dry skin, and I just want a bit of extra moisture if I'm honest. I also picked up these because I kind of went a bit crazy. I don't know what they do. I think they're meant to fix your wrinkles here. Uh, I have quite bad ones, so uh, I was like, why not? They might not even do that, but I assume that's what they do if they're around here. So I got those. I don't even use lipstick or lip tints, um, but I wanted one. And this one looked like a really nice um, light uh, pinky peachy colour. Uh, so I was like, let's try that. Sorry guys, I just knocked my camera, I don't know if it's changed, but sorry about that. Uh, also, I got this. I wanted to go. Every time I go somewhere, I always try to get a t-shirt. So I got a Tokyo t-shirt, so I thought I'd wear this. I got it at the airport <laughs> last minute, because I bought so much stuff. Like, so this might take a while to get. It's actually my first holiday without parents or university. Uh, it was just me and my boyfriend. So this was like, the reason I've, I've bought a lot is because I've saved up a lot of money and it's my first like proper holiday on my own and so that's why I've bought so much money, so much stuff. Stay. I've got the tapestry actually. Um, I've not opened it yet. I know what I got, but... I got the Great Wave tapestry, which is absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was originally uh, a wood print and but I saw this tapestry and I thought it was absolutely stunning. Yeah. Let's do a small bag. I don't even know what's in here. Oh yes I do. Uh, there's um, a shop in Japan called Animate and it's like the where like all the new merch and like because um, there's a lot of like secondhand anime stores in Japan uh, but like Animate's like one of the main ones that gets all the new merch in um, and like new manga and stuff like that, new anime DVDs and they had Attack on Titan and I, I've seen these before I really wanted to know when Levi but you know again they're like um, lucky bags uh, so you don't know what you're going to get but I got Erin and I got Jean and <laughs> this little piece of a pod and they're just the cutest things like they're incredibly squishy uh, so getting Erin and Jean is quite quite funny actually so those two can have a have a good little argument living next to each other. Let's do one of the Pokemon Centres. There was a Pokemon Centre in Skytree. Um, I didn't realise that. I thought there was just one in one of the shopping malls, like the big, the main uh, Pokemon Centre in Tokyo. But no, there's one in Skytree, so we... <laughs> I saw that and I just ran straight in. Pokemon Centre in Skytree. I got a pack of Japanese Pokemon cards, because when in Japan you should buy a pack of Japanese Pokemon cards. Didn't get any good ones, but hey-ho, my best one I got here was Cloyster. Uh, but they're in Japanese, they're cool, no shinies, just not a very good pack, but they're from Japan, so that's cool. The next thing I got was this, an Umbreon keychain polka doll. I love this. It's so weird how much polka, doll, polka dolls have changed. Like this, Even this has changed. They used to be like a little star shape, uh, but it's adorable. They've changed. To be personally for the better, they just look so much cuter. Um, but I could find a big version of this. I don't know if they do a big version of I'm around Pokédor now, but this little guy, there was, um, they had all the evolutions like this, uh, but there was only two Umbreons left, and I literally, I snatched it, I, would, I 
let's, I just went for it. There was loads of all the others, but I know Rod's quite a popular evolution. So I saw this guy and grabbed it and it is just the cutest thing and I love it to bits. As you can probably tell, my favourite Pokemon is Umbreon. I don't actually know if this has survived the plane journey yet, so let's find out. It's um, a little plate. It survived, thank god. Uh, so yes, it's a little Umbreon plate. It's so cute. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Uh, but no, I thought that was quite a little sweet. It wasn't too expensive actually for, um, for a plate, I thought. So I got that. Uh, there was a Mount Fuji coin thing. I love stuff like this. It's like little coins that you can, you know, put in a machine and, you know, get which one you want. That's a Mount Fuji one. I also got a Skytree one, but I don't know where it is. I'm sure we'll come across it. I know this is from Mount Fuji. This, we didn't have very much time at Mount Fuji. We had about half an hour and it was not enough time, but never mind. Um, so this was, I don't know if you can see. It's basically Mount Fuji in one of these little glass in a glass ornament and it's very pretty and I love it lots. So there's one of the Pikachus from Tokyo, Spider-Man one from Universal. Is the Jaws one. It's the the the, um, the other Pokemon Pokemon Pikachu one I got from Pokemon Centre. And this was the Mount Fuji coin. Now let's do the Ghibli Museum gift shop. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the Ghibli the Studio Ghibli Museum itself was amazing and breathtaking. I loved it a bit. The gift shop, however, was not as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, very much uh, Totoro based. Um, didn't see much of Princess Mononoke, or I didn't see much of Howl, um, but still a very cute store. Um, but there were a lot of other Ghibli stores, like Ghibli orientated stores in Japan that I personally thought were better. But this is from the actual Ghibli Museum, so that's always nice. I got this, which is. Um, like a little flannel and it actually says about the Ghibli Museum on it just there and this is actually what it looks like like the layout of the Ghibli Museum so that's really quite sweet I do love it oh yeah in Japan it's really sweet they give you extra bags I think so you can if they're gifts you can give them to people because um, in the Pokemon Center this lady who served me um, she said would you like some more bags um, for gifts and I went, oh yes please if you don't mind and she like shoved like so many Pikachus down my bag in my bag and I was like that's very kind of her so I think they did the same here that's why I've got so many, which is really sweet. And then, and then I got these from um, the Ghibli shop. They, I think, I don't know, I think you can either wear them as charms, but I think I saw quite a few people like stamping them, putting them in ink and making stamps. And some people were painting them. So I don't know what they are, but they're very cute. I didn't buy these, but the Ghibli Museum gives you them um, when you arrive. And they are little film cells from... Um, a film, you don't get to pick, you just get them random. Uh, I got Ponyo, Howl's Moving Castle. So uh, that was what my um, boyfriend got. But he doesn't, he likes Ghibli, but he doesn't, you know, he was nice and let me have it because he knows I love stuff like this. So I got that as well. So those were quite cute little things. I don't know why I kept this, but I just, I wanted to. This is what my ginormous peach apricot came in. I'm not too sure what fruit it was. It looked like a peach to me. Um, but it was 1,100 yen for a single peach in here. It was it was really big, like that. But that's a lot of money for a peach. That's about equivalent to us as nine pounds for a peach. Um, I don't know if it's a super fruit. I'm not too familiar with it. So if you guys know about giant fruit or why fruit's so expensive in Japan, let me know because that was a lot of money, but I really wanted to try it. Uh, so Attack on Titan were, uh, are currently doing a collaboration with Rascal, which is this little raccoon guy. Uh, this was free, I got a free fan, I don't know if it's because I spend a lot of money, but they get, she gave me quite a few cute little gifts actually, she gave me a cute little drawstring bag. Again for free, I don't, I don't know if they're just being really nice, but they gave me free stuff, so I was like, that's really kind. A free fan, which I really needed because the trains and the subway are hot in Japan. Um, but no, they were doing a collaborate, uh, they're doing a collaboration, oh yeah, this is what I mean by the bags. Look how many Pokemon bags she gave me in the Pokemon store. She gave me loads. They're doing a collaboration at the moment with Rascal Attack on Titan. And the first thing I got was this, which is the Irwin keychain. Uh, I wanted to get Levi and Irwin keychains, but Levi had sold out. <laughs> Not a surprise. So I got that one. The next thing I got was this. It's like a little acrylic stand of Levi and Rascal. Uh, it was really, really sweet. I was really worried it was going to break in the plane, but it didn't, so I was very lucky. So guys, you know how I said this was an acrylic stand? I finally got out the packaging, and actually, it turns out, it is. It's a light! Look how cute that is! It's really, really bright. Look at it! So yeah, it's actually a light. 
And then the final thing I got, because it was getting very extensive at this point, was a pencil case with every character on. Mini, because Owen and Levi were together on it, so I got it. And Hanji, and then Erin, Mixer, and Armin's down at the bottom there. She also gave me a sticker, which I'm not too sure what it is yet, I haven't opened it. Rascal, that's cleaning Levi. <laughs> uh, like when he does his, when Levi does the opening of the um, shutters in the first series. That's so cute. There was a Disney store, so I went to the Disney store. Um, didn't buy much. Uh, I mainly wanted to go there to look. Uh, I could have bought much, but I didn't. Uh, but I got this. I, I love um, Peter Pan. It's my favourite Disney film. He's like one of my favourite books as well. Um, and I've never seen a Peter Pan doll quite like this. It's very it reminds me of in the second film of Disney, uh, 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 Peter Pan Return to Neverland, when uh, Jane's got that little doll of Peter. Um, and I was like, oh, I have to get it because I've always wanted that doll. Basically, in Japan, as you probably know, there's a lot of gacha machines. And by that, I mean they're pretty much on every street corner along with vending machines. Obviously, I've had a huge go on the Pokemon Center ones, especially because at the moment they are doing evolutions that hang on the glasses. And I got... <laughs> I can shamefully say I bought every single one of them that they do. Also, I also got, I think, four espions and I, like, in a row, and I was like, oh my god, no. Do you know how much money that is? So I'm doing this, might as well, go, might as well tell you guys a story. These uh, I noticed a while back because um, I kind of collect Umbreon stuff, uh, and I noticed uh, the Umbreon, Umbreon of these popped up on eBay and I bought it. Uh, <laughs> I knew I was going to Japan, but I didn't know, I don't know if I was going to find it in Japan, if that makes sense. Um, and it cost me, it wasn't too bad, I think it was like £8 for the figure, but like £12 shipping. So, um, yeah, then I go to Japan and I get the Umbreon, another Umbreon for like three, like 300 yen, which is about, I don't know, £2.50, hardly anything. This was the uh, Lifion Glacion, Sylveon, um, weirdly Jolteon, and one of the Eevee sets, this is what they're meant to do, they're meant to like sit on like your like edges of glass. Next we got Glacion. Bit of a bad paint job and I'm so fussy about stuff like that. But never mind. That says Glacion. Le Leafeon's one of my favourite evolutions so I was really happy. I got two of her. This was one of the first Eevees that you can get. So there's Eevee. It's gorgeous. I got another, I got a duplicate of uh, Vaporeon as well but that's fine with me. It's a lovely um, little figure. So I got a little Flareon. Jolteon is my second favourite evolution. He's my baby. He's on my team along with Umbreon. It was Luxray as my electric Pokemon for a while, but Jolteon came back into my heart. Then we had the another Eevee that came with the... The evolutions were separated into, into two gacha machines, so this was this one. My favourite Pokemon ever, Umbreon. He's very cute, he's doing like a little wink. So very cute. And then we have an Espeon, whom I got four of, so good lord. And then finally... We got Sylveon. Very pretty girl. Whilst I'm up close, I also got a Skytree coin. Uh, basically, it's just a one of those little ones where you put a couple of yen in. And you can put it as a keychain if you want, or you can pop it out and have it as a coin. So, yeah. I found a little shop that was like a, I think it was like a second hand shop, but they had like boxes of different animes. And um, I love so I so <laughs> I love Psychopaths a lot. I've actually only seen this first series, and um, I'm and I've been meaning to watch the second series, but I've heard it's not very good. I also want to watch the movie, um, but no, I'm, I love Kogami. I, he's such a good character. And I found a plushie of him, and I was like, even on eBay, I don't see these very often. And when I do, they're quite expensive. But I've never seen this little Kogami plushie. He was very cute, so I thought I would get him. In Japan, they actually write give you paid stickers to make sure that you're paid for stuff. Because um, obviously, in a lot of shops, there's lots of keychain shops where you could probably quite easily pocket it. Uh, so they tend to put um, a paid sticker on, just to, in case you get stopped and asked if you take if you've taken anything. Oh, hang on, it's not blushy. Oh, God, trust me to buy something. I don't know what it is. But where you can put like your um, I don't know, license or a card or something. Oh, never mind, it's still really cute and it's a plushy kind of thing, so I like that. This was, again, from one of those like keychain shops where they have everything, and I do mean everything. It's an Umbreon in a Ditto form, form, and I've seen this quite a few times on eBay, so I've been meaning to buy it, but, again, 
obviously it's going to be cheaper in Japan. Uh, so, oh, hang on, I haven't got out yet. Oh, this is just so derpy. I love it. And then it came with another dip that was lying on the floor and it's just, oh, just perfect. So cute. I love it. In Skytree they have loads of shops um, and some really good um, just Japanese like souvenir shops. And I, I like, I love clips like this. And I saw this one, and it was quite expensive actually, uh, but I just fell in love with the colours, and it was from Japan, and I, just, I often wear my hair up using one of these. So I just thought I'd have to get something like this, it's so, so pretty. Since I was in Japan, I knew I wanted to get um, an Attack on Titan manga in Japan, uh, in Japanese, just so, you know, because I, I don't know, it's, I think it's quite cool to get a book where it's actually, you know, from. So I didn't actually get Attack on Titan one, but because I saw this, I know this is, this is number two of um, No Regrets, what we call, or it's called No Regrets in England, but it's, I think it's called Birth of Levi in Japan. Uh, and this was the, this is the second book, so there were two volumes, um, but I'm pretty sure this is like a limited edition one, or special, not limited, probably special edition version of it. Um, I've seen it a few times on eBay, it comes with like a little booklet of like a, a side story, which I'm pretty sure is in the English version, but it's nice to have it like that. I thought I'd get that one, that manga, uh, especially, because yeah, they had um, one and two normally, and then they had this, uh, so I think this was just like a little limited edition or something like that anyway, so I thought I would get that because I really wanted something, Attack on Titan, I really wanted the J Attack on Titan manga from Japan. There's also the new coloured edition of No Regrets, if you didn't know No Regrets has now been uh, there's now a coloured edition of it. I don't know if there's an English English release, but I already bought the Japanese version before I went to Japan of the coloured version of No Regrets. So you should get that because the colour is really cool. So yeah, I went to Universal Japan and they have a Dragon Ball um, thing on at the moment. So I got a little Goku sitting on the Universal Studio J Japan globe. It's super cute. I missed, there was an Attack on Titan uh, there was loads of Attack on Titan stuff going on at Universal Japan a couple of months ago, like a giant armor Titan. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, Eren's Titan was there as well. And I know a couple of years ago there was the female Titan, Eren, was there. And there's lots of other like Attack on Titan stuff going on, but I've missed that unfortunately. But there is a little um, Dragon Ball going on at the moment, so that's pretty cool. Again, these were from Gacha Machines. Uh, I was getting a couple of gifts from my friends. Gacha Machines make great gifts. <laughs> like, I'm not joking, they make amazing gifts. So yeah, I got a Sasha keychain, a Mixa one, and incredibly, I also got a Levi one, which was very lucky because it was the first time I used it. I was like, oh, yes, let's have another go. Also while from here, there's a Universal Studios Japan has a, an amazing Harry Potter uh, park. And I, my boyfriend was very nice to me and he bought me a golden snitch necklace, bless him. And it's absolutely stunning, it's so pretty. So this is the monthly issue of, oh, I can't pronounce it guys, I'm not going to lie, I can't pronounce it. But basically every month Attack on Titan chapters get released in this. And uh, it's a monthly magazine and I didn't realise how big it was but I knew I wanted to get, um, whilst I was in Japan, get one of these because... You know, it's just like, I'm in Japan, I love Attack on Titan, I'd like to have this month's issue. So I thought that was quite sweet. This literally got released like a couple of days whilst we were out there. Uh, so you can see Erin's here. This is, I'm pretty sure it's, God, what chapter are we on now? Uh, so it's got chapter uh, 97 of Attack on Titan in, and it's a monthly magazine. Uh, I just wanted to get one because I thought, I love Attack on Titan, I'm in Japan, it would be quite nice to have the magazine of the time that I was in Japan. And then... I got this from the same, the same shop that I got Kogami from, that Kogami plush I showed you guys earlier. Uh, I really loved it. The Attack on Titan basket was amazing. There were so many keychains in Japan that I wanted that, you know, people charge so much for on eBay and stuff. But I just didn't do it, just because I just needed money. <laughs> I needed to stop spending. So I don't actually know what it is. I think it's a plate, uh, but it's got one of Levi's quotes on, choose whatever you'll regret the least, and then it's got like a little Levi. Uh, so let's open it up. So it's just a cute little plate. With Levi and his quotes. In Skytree at the moment, they are currently doing an Attack on Titan. In Skytree Planetarium, I should say, they're doing an Attack on Titan showing, and I was very lucky. And we got Charlie and I got to go see it. It was on at twelve and twelve thirty. Uh, so we went uh, when we first went to Skytree. We went up to go see what time it was on, and they said, "Oh, it's only on at twelve and twelve thirty. So we went on Saturday instead to go see it. Uh, we got tickets for it. It was really good fun. It was quite short, um, and obviously it was in Japanese. So we didn't understand it, 
but it was visually it was just amazing. Like we got eaten by a titan, and in, you know in series two when um, Clops or Titan falls off the wall onto Rainer and Aaron. Um, yeah, they did that, and because it's a planetarium, which is like a dome, it was called a tackle Titan in the dome. Well, SMK in the dome. Uh, like the Colossal Titan falls onto you, and it's like it, it's a dome. <laughs> Can't I said that? <laughs> falls onto you, and it's pretty cool to watch. Um, I actually, <laughs> I actually went and saw it twice. <laughs> I went uh, at twelve, and I was like, that was so good. And I was like, Charlie, I'm going again. He went, oh really? And I was like, yes. And he was like, fine, I'll wait here. And alongside that, they come with um, there's merch being released with it. And obviously I was in Japan and I've not seen this old stuff on eBay, I was like, oh cool, I get an exclusive merch. So I went there and I eventually found it. It was like in an anime shop um, uh, under, under the sky tree. First thing I got was this, which is like a little pencil case that they've done for this little collaboration. So that's that. This was just part of their Attack on Titan section that I had to buy it. I had to, guys. It's an ice tray of Levi and Erin. And I just, I, I don't need it, but I bought it. So they had a lot of little merch of all the character art on. Uh, oh, and a Levi and Hanji. It's just like a little tin, which is where my coins are staying at the moment. Right, guys, this is where things get bad. The place did keychains, right? They did keychains of, I think, ten characters. And obviously, obviously I wanted Erwin and Levi, right? I ended up buying, I reckon, around about 20, and they were expensive, they were 600 yen each, so I spent a lot of money on these, especially because Levi was the last damn one I got. <laughs> I kept doing it because I didn't get Levi, and it was so sad, guys. So pathetic. Don't do it. So I'll quickly whiz through them. I got all of them apart from Connie, unfortunately, which is kind of irritating, but at least I got Levi and Erwin. Uh, so that's Erin. So there's Jean. Very cute. I think I got two of Armin. Got three of Bertol. Got quite a few of Rainer. And you. Mix that. And then I got Erwin. I got two of Erwin. And then finally, after God knows how much money I spent, I got Levi. I really didn't want to leave without Levi because his design was really cute for this. And I was like, I'm sorry, I have to get it. I don't care how much I spent. Angie, Erin, Rainer, Rainer, however you want to say it. Mixer, Levi, Bert, Armin. Uh, Erwin and Jean. The only one I didn't get was Connie, which is kind of gutting because I would have had the whole set, but I really couldn't spend any more, guys. I know what I did spending so much was wrong, but again, you can't really get these outside of Japan, and I really wanted Levi and Erwin, so I eventually got them, so that was good. At least I can say I got my babies together. Good lord, what have I become? My camera battery's dying, so I need to hurry up. A giant Pentagon Centre bag. What did you buy, Harriet? What did you buy? I bought one. I saw this, it was in Skytree and in the main one, and I just fell in love with it. Uh, I bought it on the last day again, in case, because I didn't want to spend all my money at once. This was 3,800, so about, about £34, um, which is, you know, what do you expect from a Pokemon, from the Pokemon Centre when it's good quality? You know, at least it's not the actual thing. It's pretty big, but, you know, what, when in the Pokemon Centre of Japan, spend your money. It's so cute. Right, guys, so I think that's everything. Uh, well, actually, I know it's not everything, but I'll show you what else I bought because I'm a very, very sad person and went a little bit overboard on what I'm about to show you. I'll also show you what I got for my friends and family for gifts because I bought them a lot of gifts. Um, I'll show you them separately in a minute. So quickly, guys, I'll show you what I got for my friends and family. So I also bought I bought these, which are, I think they're sweets. They're sweets that look like sushi. Um, so these are for my mum and dad just because we wanted. They said they wanted to try some weird stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. Uh, these are for my elderly brothers, who are 27. Uh, they used to love Pokemon, so I thought I'd get them a pack of Pokemon cards each. Uh, as well as, um, well, I'll show you in a minute. This is for my friend Emily, who is a loved cat, so I got her a little kitty. And actually, it does that, and it's just, oh, it's so cute. Then we have this, as I'm sure most parents uh, everyone else's parents will say that they always want a fridge magnet, so I got them a Tokyo Skytree one with Fuji and the uh, cherry blossoms in the background. The mother is a huge fan of Harry Potter, uh, so I got her a little uh, snitch charm similar to my uh, necklace. My friend Harry loves Godzilla to bits, so I got him a little Godzilla keychain. My friend Guy, he's seen this in 
Oh, every time he sees it, he laughs at it. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to get my keychain. It's an egg. It's an egg. They have these. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, but I think this was mainly like a gift wrapping shop, and they had these beautiful fabrics. Um, these are for my parents. Uh, I, I think they begin with T, or I think the T, the word. Oh God, I don't know. I feel guilty for not knowing. But there's these lovely bit of fabrics. I think they begin with T. I'm not too sure. I think the T are for the bigger ones. Uh, but basically, these are to wrap gifts in, and but you can just buy them separately. Uh, so I did. I bought my dad one of Mount Fuji and my mum one of uh, just of Japan. Look, it's got Fuji at the top and the cherry blossoms. And I thought it was stunning, so I just got that for my mum, my mum and dad, so I can wrap their little presents, separate presents I got in. Uh, so obviously I got that one for my mum as well. But my dad, you know how guys were showing you all my evolutions? These, this was another. These were the other ones you could get, like from a different thing. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to try one go, one go, because my dad loves Psyduck and I was like, I do mean, only mean one go. Because it was unlikely we were going to get him. And I got him first try, and I was like, oh, my dad will love that. Dad loves Psyduck so much, it's his favourite Pokemon. So that was quite sweet that I got that. Friend Chris loves Gundam. I'm not too sure what it is, but we went past the Gundam cafe, which I know is quite famous. And I got him a little capsule of one of uh, one of the characters, and I think it's one of the good characters. Uh, so yeah, it's actually got a little Stormtrooper, which is very lucky because it was one of the better ones that you could get, and he loves Stormtroopers, so that worked out nicely. One of my friends, James, I got him a little Eevee friend, Ellie, has got like a little Erin keychain in here from Attack on Titan. Another one of these, and it turned out to be Jean, who happens to be ha one of Hayley's favourite characters, I believe. So I got her that. My brother's is one of the Pokemon cards. I got them. It's basically, it's a little Pikachu inside. I don't open it because there's gifts, so. Uh, can you see in this one? Not really. Basically, the moral of the story, catchers make amazing gifts. They really, really do. So yeah, that's what I ended up getting for them. Uh, I did a lot of saving for this trip. Uh, like I said, one of my oops, first proper holiday and I just thoroughly enjoyed it and just, all this stuff is just, just just awesome. I just loved it. Uh, if you ever want to go to Japan or you're debating whether to go, grit your teeth and do it. You may be scared, but it's not a scary thing. Um, in Tokyo where I was, people spoke English. Uh, they were incredibly helpful, like uh, Japanese people are, they're incredibly welcoming, they're happy to help you, it's not a scary country, trains are relatively easy, um, just make sure you guys go and have a great time, uh, just be respectful, uh, try not to spend too much money, especially on keychains. I had an amazing time and I have one more thing to show you that I really shouldn't have done. Uh, there was this store, okay I'm going to show you, you guys can shame me. Mandarik. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I went to three in the end because, uh, yeah. Uh, the main one I went to was in Nakana Broadway, which is really good. Go to that one if you guys ever want to get stuff like this. Oh, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. I love these because I love the one to leave out and then I just love the art. The art is just stunning. I hope you guys enjoy. It's probably quite a long video. Thank you for being patient. Uh, like I said, go to Japan. It's amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Yeah guys, I wasn't joking. I bought I bought shit tons of naughty crap.